Hello, bit of a trial here, uh, doing a bit of a video before I move, a couple of good things have been happening, like breaking some more mental barriers, it's kind of weird, and I kind of want to explain it that way, because a lot of the shit, as I previously said, um, I'm messing up with my word, but as I previously said, a lot of shit is ingrained through this, <laughs> I feel so spiteful, um, through this, uh, like, parenting, this parenting that hasn't really helped and yada yada yada, and as much as I could have kept saying that, uh, there's a lot of things that are still stuck in, and uh, what I had to tackle on or deal with in a more effective method was a fail state aspect. Uh, let me just see if I can bring in some light here, uh, again, drawing and talking don't do it um, but you know editing time <laughs> so uh, when it came to that the highest amount of difficulty was just getting rid of this fail state and I knew that there were certain things I, I could tell myself to get rid of when it came to this aspect of a fail state uh, or just not wanting to fail and I knew the logic behind basically telling myself uh, look there is no failure and yada 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 I knew the theories but now the aspect that just came diff uh, you know that knocked at the door was just actively removing that from my way of thinking like uh, switching over to positive thinking and this is where I kinda had um, kind of called myself out before where you guys remember when I told you using all your seven senses when you draw um, and basically going going for broke trying to do as much as you can well there are times where and there are multiple times where I would try to do so but I would just dump the sketch because um, I told myself well look the sketch is not good enough and what kind of came to hit me at one point was like the positive voice saying well look if it's not if it's not good enough make it good enough see where it goes you'll never learn to um, go to distance if you don't go to distance you know and that's like wait and I couldn't reply it's like well wh what do you think what are you gonna say are you gonna say well um, you know it's not good enough to push to the distance well no you can't there's no counter to that so um, thank God for positive thinking because at this point I caught myself and said wait so what's going on here what's what's happening with this this aspect and along with drawing it has gotten me um, stopped on my progression in other things such as you know sending out um, starting out certain projects be because I'd say I need to have it entirely ready to a s you know to a certain degree or having it ready to a you know quote unquote ready you know making all the preparations and the ironic part is again once you put the flip side of it is well you'll never have the experience of knowing what you need to prepare if you don't try crash and burn and then go uh, do it again you know so a like all of this just kept piling up all the questions just kept piling up uh, when it comes to freelancing at times well again when it comes to inking and doing this digital coloring why am I doing this if I don't necessarily know I can offer uh, the best that I can if I know it's not the best that I can push it at or the best that I can push it at under a specific budget and it's like well safety you know uh, I gotta stay safe because I do not want to fail with a let's say a, a messed line work or um, something like that you know and it's like well okay you're again still thinking about the fail state instead of basically trying you know like going for it and giving yourself a shot and it's like it's this back and forth between constantly constantly telling myself well I don't want to mess up but the irony is I have to mess up um, and I'm pretty sure you guys cannot see this clearly anyway don't worry I'll switch to black afterwards yet um, man now I'm kind of wondering 
gonna set this up. I'm doing a mock, kind of a mock cover right here, so that's why it's kind of. <laughs> and again, with this whole trial aspect, um, I'm trying a weird kind of composition to make fun of uh, a old school poster. But um, okay, so again here something that I, I kind of had to deal with is basically understanding that well look you're gonna trip you're gonna fail you're gonna try again and get better so when it came to drawing well I don't have any excuse not to push the drawing even further and that goes for both adding shading but also remembering I'm using this beast animation paper here I can put another sheet on top and get some uh, a different result um, so like there was no need to have this this dumb fail state mentality yet again when it came to parenting it was like a shock state you know you guys remember that episode in the simpson where lisa was shocking her brother um to compare the results with a mouse and the mouse learning and the brother not and just having this you know this fidgeting <laughs> <laughs> oh, sorry for the mic being too close. Um, this fidgeting um, fetal position going, ah, I don't want to get shocked. And it's like, well, the same thing kind of happened mentally where it's like, I don't want to get that fail state because of those previous experience. So, okay, a time to break that into pieces and understand, well, look, fail states are going to happen. Uh, yet, that's when you learn. And again, that that incident, well, not that incident, that event that happened um, back playing Street Fighter 2 as a kid, and my brother unknowingly passing me the controller at one point to fight Bison, and me getting my ass kicked with all my other character, but then going down to Blanca and scaling it down, you know, maybe it took over um, 40 minutes to an hour, but scaling it down to a point where I had the cheap lockdown, the cheap Blanca ball on reaction, every kind of reaction, and narrowed it down because I told myself, I can beat this guy. Yet, little did I know, he was level 8. And my brother did that bloody trick where he would um, basically take um, controller number 2, select the other character, beat them until he gets to the last boss. But he couldn't do that with Bison, so he kind of asked me, and I didn't know it was level 8, yet I didn't care. In my head at that moment, it was, I can beat him. I know I can beat him. I've beaten him before on level one. Um, but I had beaten him before, so let me be the cheapest that I can to beat him. And eventually, once I managed to do that, I'm like, all right, yeah, done. <laughs> you know, I didn't think <laughs> that was level eight. And then I saw the credit, and I'm like, what? Saw the credits is like, and he's like, "Yeah, that's level eight. And I'm like, "Why would you do that?" But at the same time, after the whole credit, you know, I felt great. I went into the option, and it's like, "Yeah, that was level eight. What the hell?" Um, and back then, I didn't really understand. You know, it just felt great, but I didn't understand what it meant. And looking back at it now, it's like, well, I did not tell myself it was a level eight so I didn't tell myself that I, I I was you know fighting at a disadvantage instead I told myself I am going to be as cheap as I can to beat him and that's what needs to be done and eventually boom it happened so when it comes to applying that in life okay now I'm trying to uh, reflect upon that story and basically tell myself okay well look it's a challenge it's kinda like a game at this point um, when it comes to drawing how how can I beat my previous self you know how can I beat my previous work how can I beat um, my my previous level you know just constantly telling myself how do I beat myself and taking the measures to do so and not competing against other like this idea that I had back in uh, back when end of high school and you know again with this whole you have to be you have to have high grades and blah 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 like this whole competing against other that was dumb 
that was really dumb because the way I see myself and the way I used to uh, at times like kind of slightly in the middle before before college or art college um, but the way I used to be before was like okay well I can beat my previous work how do I do so um, and that became my challenge so somewhere down the line it became about competing about other it became about uh, what other people fought and it's like no 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 I just stagnated to a certain degree it really stagnated my project my progress because every time it's like okay what about others what about others and it's like well no 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 fuck no you want to push yourself to your limit in order to please others such as clients or fans and I can't believe I lost that over the years and you know th this whole mix again pleasing others that idea of following a standard that idea of remaining safe and uh, evading failure that whole thing just kind of killed my prod my progress and it's not to say that studying was bad no yet it wasn't studying to challenge myself it was studying to follow a structure and of course that's not what I got into this to begin with you know so things stagnated and I'm glad that recently just taking time to think about all that think about this the progress that I used to do and how things kinda got you know boiled down and toned down and how it's affecting my work and life as well because there are many decisions I won't take because of you know that little shock therapy of just going mmm fail state mmm gotta be careful and it's it's the worst bloody thing it really is um, because in life you have to try 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 and multiple things so this um, geez this it kinda well I'm glad that freelancing really helped clear things out or understand this and just taking time to meditate on this whole thing but not remaining stuck with single concepts of uh, what have to be done or what can be done like man uh, reading through or reading through various uh, people's various experiences and books has really helped checking out audiobooks have helped uh, learning about success stories, but going into you know going into the deeper level of success story thus what has pushed people to that limit and it's all uh, a lot of it is how Better than myself. Can I be how can I push myself like Michael Jordan again another story where? Once he what was it once he had that loss? He's like, okay. Well, I'm gonna have to up my standards here uh, he was he took it really deep and personal but then he's like okay well time to rise back up put a, put on the TJ combo music and push his himself to a whole different level and I guess to evade this whole fail state mentality I have to follow the same thing it, it's what's going to kind of drive the passion back into me you know not thinking about standards not deadlines but basically how can I beat my previous work and ironically as soon as I started uh, sketching and thinking like that, again, I took changed the paper if it if the sketch wasn't up to my liking, because the pose it, maybe it's just the pose, and then as soon as that's done, okay, is that at the state? Okay, let's try to add some shading to it. Let's add some light and tones to it. But it's not about following, let's say, a set standard or a set procedure. It's all about just how far can I push it? Can I beat my previous self? And what do I need to study to get further to beat my previous status? Because if you manage to learn one thing every day, then you'll beat your yesterday self on all day. Yet if you stop wanting to learn, it's it's balance. It's balance. If you don't want to learn, then you're not going to progress in your own craft. You'll progress. Okay, you'll progress through experience and trying. Yet you can progress so much further. Um, if you take some time to study and this is where again I had to change mentality when it came to study not studying for grade but studying for passion studying because I want to get better so that's uh, that's been the funny event uh, funny event but I I like what I got out of that 
uh, and basically uh, kind of like taking control at this point you know and of course it's not going to be instant it's something I'll have to I might even need to make some kind of a banner for it okay uh, to remind myself to wake up every day and look at it and say okay look everything's a challenge push it even your your job for other people is a challenge and now I keep making that mistake of using alternative medium or other medium but at the same time okay well let's push it if I'm in a project right now that uses it or in a certain contract that uses these things okay well let's push it let's um, see how far that goes but um, then switching back to my good old pencil and paper to give my maximum and go further in that maximum to see how far I can push it you know it's again not going with standards but going with what feels right learning more about that and then we'll see what happens when it comes to digital coloring and all that but um, right now I just need to hammer myself over and over again with that message as well as telling myself look try practice all those fundamentals like shading color, uh, perspective volume cons uh, planes patterns texture you know hammer these down and then we'll see what happens with the rest you know or, and then you may even try to try it with the rest with inking you know a again uh, when it comes to inking it's not simply making outlines there's a whole art form to it and it's it's kinda like picking up the pencil again you're gonna have to do trials trials of texture trials of tonality uh, trials of placement slash perspective or composition with ink like it's it's kind of nuts but at the same time you get this glee of saying well how far can I go how far I've already learned so much right now and that was another thing I guess I'm gonna wrap it up soon that was another thing just realizing how much I personally learned up to now you know starting with the whole how to draw manga a book that I'm about to give away to kids uh, soon before moving and then moving on to burn Hogarth and then moving on to understanding uh, Loomis and then understanding uh, you know going forward and forward you know it's like don't take that for granted you know just understand that you you me other people have went through a lot and understanding the fact that we've learned so much kind of opens up that door of saying well look I've learned a lot and this is the level I'm at I can go further <laughs> and that's opening up all the references that you have and all the books that you have and it's like well if I read more I'm gonna learn more I'm gonna get more power <laughs> you know and even if you don't get it in the first shot there's always you know trial 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 and error pushing it seeing how far it goes and stuff cannot always be learned on the first shot you know so I guess that's about it what I can say for taking away the fail state right now even with this kind of sketching there could be mistakes uh, but at the same time I don't care I'm at this point where I just don't care and I'll see like tomorrow or in two days or after the move pick that sketch back up and go like alright what are the things I could have changed what are the things I can beat in the next let's say mock cover and such things and just going at it that way not simply saying I'm gonna stop here because this sketch is not up to my liking but no just keep going so it's tough okay it's really tough and I do feel that it may be depending on the case depending on the parenting depending on the type of edu of education you had it might be even tougher to break out of that habit uh, yet again it's all personal personal ways you know you find a way to push yourself even further in that sense and I kinda had to tell myself gotta gotta see it as a challenge you know I always like challenge I always like to try to break my limits now it's like okay well everything's a challenge how can I beat my previous commissions how can I beat my previous sketching how can I beat my previous way of thinking maybe you know how can I beat my previous business plan just 
see it as a game and keeping that scoreboard maybe like maybe that's going to be the banner I'm going to set up May, make a scoreboard have I beaten myself this week how far can I go oh shit I'm already 20 minutes in alright guys uh, maybe I can show you a bit of what's been going on again I'll put this sketch right here see if I can't make it fall or oh, I don't make it fall the lighting is really bad I know guys but again I started pushing light and all that um, and I told myself yeah whatever the sketch not good I'll push it even further <laughs> you know um, so especially when it comes to that background elements coming back to this to that background element in the back I'm gonna try something and see if it works you know a fade-in of this kind of figure but maybe having a lighter uh, lighter type of um, marks to keep it in the background to have this fading thing but if I fail well it's not a failure it's an experiment and I'll know for the next time I'm gonna try and do that or even that glass effect I, I wanna try to do that on top of another then I'll fucking know, okay, well, don't do it this way. You can swing it around another way, you know? So, there is no fail state. You learn from experiences, you learn from trying stuff, and not staying set in a dedicated way to do things. Um, you will learn tools, okay? Like uh, tools like perspective, planes, pattern, proportions. Uh, using cylinders, using doodling technique, you know, the Marvel way, uh, in a sense, uh, the doodle approach. You'll learn multiple techniques and all that. Those are tools. But there is no set way. You just need to go on your own and tell yourself there is no fail state. Everything's an experiment. All right? So that's it for now. I have to go back to moving and possibly continuing this later on. I got some boxes to make, so I will see you guys soon with better lighting. Better lighting. Hopefully I can set up a budget for a better camera. Because this is like 720p. <laughs> Alright, later guys.